Hi, in this video I'd like to um, just show you all the pedals that I have right now in my closet. Uh, I'm just thinking about uh, maybe selling them all because um, I'm just not uh, using them a lot right now. Stereo Flanger FX75B, a Dodd pedal. And I bought this uh, secondhand, of course. It's probably one of the older ones I have. Uh, it doesn't work perfectly though. It, um, this on off doesn't work. So basically you have to put this in a loop on your pedal board uh, where there's a switch where you can uh, cut that loop off and on. So this is called Metal Muff with Top Boost. Electro Harmonics, really, really nice heavy metal pedal. Okay, so the next pedal is Riot by Sir. And when I uh, started playing this, I was like, oh, I don't need another pedal. This is all I need. Uh, this is another one which I don't think I could ever part with though. The Blues Driver by Boss. Uh, just a nice sweet, uh, it's very sweet distortion you can get with this pedal. Now this one I bought and I haven't even used it yet. I haven't really experimented with it yet other than maybe cursorily when I bought it. You can switch from fuzz to overdrive to distortion. Here's another one. I don't know if I can let go of any of these. This is called the uh, Dual Fusion by Wampler. Again, uh, it lets you shape your tone a lot. Look of this uh, paint job on there. Sort of reminds me of an old bike I had. And just very quickly, you know, A, B, Y. You just never know when you're gonna need these little uh, switch uh, pedals. I've used this switching between acoustic and uh, electric mode, you know, uh, having a, two different instruments in this. Yeah, and the Morley found this too. This is really cool. A and B, A or B. So you can switch how you want to. To Again, routing uh, is a big thing of with pedal boards. It's always good to have a few pedal pedals that'll direct the signals. Okay, this is uh, one of my first JHS pedals, the color box. This is simulating, it's like having a, a piece of uh, a Neve board. A Neve board is, uh, the Neve guy, he made the big boards and the Beatles used it. And if you want to get a kind of sort of hot board sound uh, distortion, uh, this is your baby. This is a really, uh, uh, it's great for a guitarist or almost any producer. I mean, you can use any instrument, go through here and uh, color it sort of like a Neve board and do some really cool stuff with it. This is an oldie and I'm not sure it works actually. I used it once or twice and then I think I had some trouble with it so I'm gonna have to test it. That's the trouble with these old, old pedals. The Phase 90, uh, this is probably something like, uh, it's a phaser pedal, right? You know, and something that, uh, I think Van Halen used something like this. And EQs, you can never get enough of. This is the GE7 by Boss. Always good to have some uh, EQ pedals for acoustic setup or electric, doesn't matter, or keyboard, whatever, they're very handy. And this one's a 10 band. So it's a 10 band, plus it's got the master up and down there. So you can do a lot of shape shifting and, and certainly uh, a tone control is really one of your biggest friends as a guitar player. Now you could call this kind of a distortion. Uh, it's called, called the Bit Commander and it's earthquake devices again handmade these are you know handmade in a shop this is really cool for ambient stuff for getting a really big kind of crunchy tone that's gonna that's, uh, just big and uh, sort of nasty as well you can uh, affect it that way and it has a sort of a uh, octaver kind of this is the fishman aura this is great if you have a nylon string or you're playing with a steel string because you can go in here and uh, kind of match it up with uh, um, the sampled sound of actual uh, acoustic guitars and it sort of helps you to to mold and shape your sound. I would use it more for uh, recording than for uh, live actually. I find it much more useful in recording. Finally got the Big Sky by Strymon and I've barely really even gotten into it. It's crazy. Uh, just life is so busy you know it's hard to uh, find the time to do it. And while we're talking about reverbs, the boss the RV500, beautiful unit. <clears throat> it's gonna be a little cheaper than the Strymon if you're going for the used market. Um, it's a little more readily available and I would say grab it. It's uh, it's a great pedal, very tailorable as well. A customizable, tr you can fiddle around with it to, to your heart's content. And this is when I just got in a trade and I, uh, I haven't even experimented with it all, but I've always wanted one at Avalanche Run. Again, it's Earthquaker devices handmade stuff and uh, serial numbers gosh it's you can't even see it anymore that's not good anyways it's uh, it's also delay and reverb it looks like so I don't know I hardly know this pedal